Hey guys, I hope you've all been well. So I'm going to be showing you um, what's in my bag. So I did show you this bag in my August favourites and um, I mentioned that I was going to do what's in my bag and some of you were really um, excited for me to do that. So I thought, let's do it, let's sit down and film this video. Um, so I'm going to show you what's in my G-Star Raw bag. And I thought it would be perfect because I recently took this bag on a little shopping trip with my friend Jen and we bought a couple of things as we always do. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to kind of show you them at the same time as I'm showing you the bag. So it's a bit more interesting and it's a bit mix of a haul and oh, what's my bag. So I'm going to get straight into it and show you the bag. So this is my um, G-Star Raw, G-Star, I can never say this. G-Star Raw Messenger Bag. So, um, as I showed you guys in my August favourites, it is um, really nice and fully leather. Um, and then it has kind of a little thing on the back, which has a, um, what's this called again? A kind of wax seal. There we go. And it has a little envelope thing here, and it comes with um, a crossbody, what's it called, strap. So I'm just going to show you what's in this bag now, obviously. Um, but it just unhooks like that and then it um, rolls over and there's like a million things in here as well. But um, to kind of show you the first thing, it is um, these makeup pads by Swiss Swispers. Um, basically I bought a toner, which I'll show you as well. Um, but to actually apply the toner you, you need those cotton pads. Um, so I bought, um, how many of these? There's 80 of them. Um, from our local drugstore, which is Priceline, and I think this was like three dollars. Um, and they're 100% cotton, which is hopefully a good thing. So I'll show you the toner in a sec, but it's like so good, I can't wait to use it. And I've like been waiting to film this video so that I could use it later on. Um, because I didn't want to do the thing where I'm like putting all my stuff back into my bag. I wanted to show you a true representation of what's in this bag. Um, the next thing is this Kiehl's, um, Facial Fuel No Shine Moisturising Lip Balm. I bought this around two months ago and for around $10, which is a lot for a lip, like a little lip thing, um, for a lip balm. And I'm actually wearing it right now. And it doesn't really live up to the name of No Shine. It, it's shiny and it's not really that great. Um, I've tried things that are a lot better and for a lot like cheaper a price. So I'm not really sold on Kiehl's. Um, but I haven't tried a lot of their other products, so if you have, let me know what you think of them. So the next thing is just uh, my sunglasses, and I don't know if I've showed you guys these before, but um, they're Jill Sander. They're a little bit, um, they're not the most splattering on me, but I really like them, and they're really matte, and they have Jill Sander on the side, and I just think they look kind of retro and a little bit um, matrixy. But I'm okay with that, and I like wearing them, and I think they're really good quality, and I like the Jill Sander brand, so that's why I'm going to continue wearing them, no matter what anyone kind of thinks of them. So, the next thing I have in here is the Cirque um, little body deodorant. Um, I love this size, but it's not the most practical, if I'm completely honest, um, because you can't really take it with you if you're not carrying a bag, but for this kind of bag, it's really great. Um, Really nondescript, I don't know what else to tell you about a deodorant, so I'm just going to put that aside and move on to the next thing. Um, so I actually bought this on my same trip, which is a little diary. Actually, let me put this bag down. Why am I carrying this bag the whole video? <laughs> but um, I bought this little diary thing from, um, what's it called, Muji. I had a meeting that day um, and I didn't have any paper or anything and I was like, shit, I need to go buy something to actually write things down in. Um, so I bought this from Muji, I think it was, let me actually see, I probably have the receipt of it. Show me the receipt. Um, is this Muji? No. Okay, I think I probably threw the receipt away. But I think it was around $3, which is so much of a bargain and um, it really served its purpose. And I think I also bought a little pen, which actually I just realized has like, two sides to it, um, which is quite cool. Um, I love going into Muji and we've only just gotten the store in Sydney. So I'm still kind of geeking out about a lot of the things in there. So um, let's show you some exciting stuff. Um, so this is what I got from Aesop. I spoke about Aesop in my last video as well. I think I showed you possibly the um, facial cleanser and I've been like slowly trying all their products out. Like I gotten samples of so many things because I genuinely want to buy them. Um, 
but I don't see the point of buying something that's so expensive and um, not actually seeing whether it works for you. Um, so that's why I like to get a lot of samples for these. So I tried the sample of this product, and I'll show you in a second, but it's the um, B&T Balancing Toner um, by Aesop, and um, it has green tea and a couple of other things. But you basically use this by applying it to a cotton pad, which is why I bought these. Um, and then you just swipe it over your face and you put it um, after cleansing and before moisturising. So that's what I got from Aesop. Um, the next thing I have in here is another thing that I picked up from the drugstore, um, which is these Kerry Care Dental E Flosses, Easy Flosses. Um, very weird to have in my bag, I know, but as I said, I went shopping and I still have all this stuff in here. Um, so these flosses things, um, flossy things, are really good. I love them. And I'm like usually one of those people that is kind of lazy when it comes to flossing. But these are really easy. Um, they're disposable, so you just use them once and you throw them away. And I think these were 24 for $3 or something, which is really affordable as well. So, um, yeah, these are just kind of a staple in my bathroom. Um, so I thought I would repurchase them. So the last kind of thing I have in this um, bag is just my little wallet. Like, um, I've probably shown this to you before, but it's a Acne Studios wallet. Um, card holder, sorry. And it holds three cards. So I've got my kind of bank card at the front. I've got my um, Oyster, well we call it Opal, because now we are finally in the 21st century and we have an all access travel card. So we don't have to depend on paper anymore. Thank you Transport New South Wales for finally bringing us into the 21st century. Um, rant over, but basically this is like a travel card that we use to get around, um, trains, buses, all that kind of stuff. And then I have my um, driver's license, which I won't show you. But I can say that it's a very good photo because I've kind of mastered taking um, the license photos now. Um, so that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, and then I think I have some money in here as well. Not very much. Um, not because I'm poor, but because I don't like to carry a lot in there. But um, everyone gets excited about Australian money. So this is just the $5 note, um, which is pink and it's very plasticky, but it's pretty. I wish I had other money to show you. Um, but I'm sure you can Google like Australian money and someone will do a video about it. Um, but yeah, basically it carries three cards and then it carries um, a little bit of money in there as well. So it's really handy, especially on a night out. So the last thing I'll show you is just um, inside this bag. So this is what it really looks like when it's empty. Um, so there's quite a lot of space and then there's this as well, um, which right now just houses like a lot of coins and I think probably like um, a Panadol or whatever those paracetamolers are, um, just in case I have a headache sometimes. So that's really it. Um, I wanted to make this quite quick because I didn't want you to be sitting here with while I pulled out like 50,000 things out of my bag because as much as those videos are fun to watch, I was like, I'm not going to edit 50 minutes of me like showing you everything um, from every single angle. So I tried to keep this really quick. Um, as always, if you haven't already, please um, give this video a thumbs up or like or whatever. Um, and comment down below if you have any questions for me or any kind of feedback on this video or any um, suggestions for future videos. I'm always looking out for a little bit of help in that idea section. So um, let me know down below. Um, I will try to link whatever I've included in this kind of video down in the description bar if I can find some of the product links. Um, and other than that, I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for more videos like this, um, I'm going to be trying to do two videos a week. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but I'm trying and um, I've already kind of scheduled a couple of videos. So look out for those and other than that, I hope you guys all take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye!